Evan, do you know what the thing is about octopus? No, what can you tell me? Well, I can tell you that one of the coolest things they do is when they're hunting, they do something called tenting. They just jet out all their arms and legs or whatever, and they just cover this whole rock area. And it's the coolest thing ever. What do you think about going to see if we can find an octopus tonight that's tenting? Yeah, that sounds really cool. We are at the Frederickstead Pier and we are about to go look at how to find octopus. That's right. So they leave some clues as to where they might be hiding. So tonight we're hopping in the water. We're going to see if we can follow their trail and find one of these octopus out there hunting in the dark. Yeah, that sounds really cool. All right, man. Let's go do it. The first key to finding octopus is patience. We know they're around somewhere, but it can take some time to track them down. Our best chance of success is searching the rocky bottom to the north of the pier. In particularly, we're looking for any recently broken shells laying on the sea floor. But Evan signals he spotted something back on one of the pilings that supports the pier. Five minutes into our dive, we get lucky and find our first octopus. It looks to be a Caribbean reef octopus, and she's quickly scaling the piling in search of food. Moving around the piling, we find she's circled it with us. The frequent display of vibrant blue-green coloration is mesmerizing to watch. Spreading her skirt over the sponges and sea life on the piling, she continuously searches small little crevices for crustaceans with the tips of her arms. Heading back to the north side of the pier, we continue our search for broken shells that might lead us to another octopus. Success! Can you find her? There's a small cluster of broken pen shells in the rocks nearby. See the fish sitting on the rocks? Take a close look behind it find her yet? She's well camouflaged, but her stack of discarded pen shells is a giveaway that this is home. We've been lucky so far and head out to see if we can track down any more. But octopus aren't the only thing out at night. There is tons of sea life, like this small spotted moray eel hiding in the rocks. And this peacock flounder that has tried to camouflage itself in the sand. Old pipes like this one often make a great home for octopus, but we find that this one is empty.
Heading back towards the pier, we find a small juvenile octopus perched on top of a rock. It crawls back in for safety and we quietly move on so as not to disturb it. Back under the pier, Evans found something, but doesn't signal it's an octopus. Turns out, it's a large, perfectly camouflaged crab clinging to the side of a piling. Moving on, we discover another octopus out hunting in the night. This one moves straight for us and displays a perfect example of tenting. On the return to shore, we take time to search the seagrass beds, and it pays off. Another octopus is out hunting. Their main diet consists of invertebrates, such as crabs, shrimp, and lobster. But they'll also eat a variety of fish and here at the pier, they seem to particularly enjoy sea pens. Foraging with the tips of their arms and using their suckers to catch prey, once they've caught something, they bring it towards their powerful beak and inject a venom that immobilizes it. They can also use their beak to break open any shells. Octopus are widely considered to be one of the most intelligent invertebrates. They are masters of disguise and are incredible to watch. Evan, that was absolutely insane. I think we had four, maybe five octopus. The one thing that you can almost guarantee here when night diving the Frederickstead Pier on St. Croix is octopus. They are amazing animals. Evan, what else can you find here at the pier? The other thing you can find here is actually frogfish. And make sure to check out our other video on how to find frogfish here at the pier. Absolutely. And after that one, you can check out our other one at diving the end of the pier. It's spectacular running the entire length of it. Mm -hmm.